Greetings, uh, brothers and sisters, and God bless you all. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I wanted to come on and encourage you guys, uh, something I, I feel led to share with you guys today. Um, again, it, it's, as I say every video, it's, it's amazing to look around the world right now at everything that's occurring and how fast it's moving and how it's just showing how close we really are to the Lord Jesus coming back. But this is a message of occupying, occupying, faithful, and, and being a wise servant um, because the time is appointed. We know the signs to look for, but we know that the time is appointed, um, and we need we need to keep moving. We need to finish this race strong together. I know there's a lot of people discouraged, um, you know, whether whether they thought the Lord was coming back at a certain time frame or or whatever it is. Um, we have to remember, you know, that that the time is appointed, and we got to occupy. Uh, and I'm going to share a few scriptures with you today. Uh, Habakkuk two three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and lie. And not lie, excuse me. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I also want to share Luke 19, 12 to 13. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. All right. So we know the truth. We know the truth, right? but we are to occupy until that trumpet sounds. We're to preach the good news, the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ until that trumpet sounds. We're the light of the world. Matthew 24, 44 to 50. Therefore be also ready for an uch such an hour as you think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord when he doeth shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkard. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, in an hour that he is not aware of. You know, if you're someone that, you know, got upset because the Lord didn't come back on a certain time frame, and you, you lost hope, and you, you went back into the world, come back. We're commanded to occupy until the Lord does come. That's why I shared Luke 19, 12 to 13. He said unto them, Occupy until I come. It's a parable about, you know, uh, a certain nobleman that went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. And then he told his servants, Deliver them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy until I return. He didn't say exactly when he was coming back, but he said, Occupy until I do come. All right. Um, and we all know the parable of the ten virgins, which you can find in Matthew 25, 1 to 13. There was five foolish virgins and five wise virgins. When the midnight hour, when the trumpet sounded, or sorry, when the midnight hour occurred, uh, five were ready and five weren't. All right, so we're, we're, we are to be prepared at all times for the Lord to come back. But we're also to occupy until the, the trumpet does sound at the appointed time. Uh, and if we're seeing everything occurring right now around the world, we know that it's drawing nigh, that he is at the doors. Because he says when these things begin to come to pass, and referring to the Lord Jesus Christ here, to lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Um, whether the Lord were to come back in 2016, 2017, 2018, I don't know. I know, I believe it's soon. And I'll cons and continue to say that until either my dying breath or until I do, until the rapture does occur. Um, I do believe it's very soon, um, but I'm not going to promote a date. So um, I wanted to come on here to encourage you guys that we are close, that he is coming, and he's coming back at the appointed time, um, and we need, to, we need to occupy. You know, um, that trumpet is going to sound, and it's going to sound soon, and we need to preach the good news while we're still here. Know, a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And if you're someone that's watching this video right now that has not called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today is your day. You didn't just stumble across this for, for any reason. That, it happened for a reason. Because today is your day. We're all guilty before God. That's the truth. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He loves you so much that he died on that cross for you. He bled on that cross for you at the cross at Calvary so that you can be forgiven and that you can spend an eternity with him and his kingdom. But the choice is yours. We're all given free will. 
Yes, we are all guilty. None of us are good. Our righteousness are as filthy rags. We are guilty before God. We are sinners, all of us. We need to confess our sins. So whoever you are out there, confess it. Admit to the Father that you are guilty before him, that you are a sinner. Ask Jesus Christ into your heart. Because Romans 10.9 says that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. Confess of your sins. Repent of your sins. Be born again today. Invite him into your heart. Because except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. <laughs> he loves you. He does. And he wants to spend an eternity with you. But the choice is yours. You can laugh this off or you can look at the truth. Because Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see, again, being a good person will not save you. The Virgin Mary is not going to save you. Buddha, Allah, any other false gods or idols is not going to save you. There is one mediator between God and men, and that is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is the truth, because God's word says so. And God's word is truth. All of it. Every single word in there is his word. It's truth. And it's life. So if you have not made that decision today, make the best decision of your eternity today. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. He died for you. So live for him. God bless each and every one of you. Keep looking up. Keep occupying. Keep your lamp full. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming quickly.